Hey love, welcome to the Shy Love Radio Show, Pop Radio Worldwide, iHeart Radio, and Spotify Premium. I hope all is well with you. If not, may all be well with you. Even if, even if it's only by having a peace of mind or internal peace. So this is February, the beginning of February 2022. Time is moving. We got Black History Month, whole lot of celebrations going on. We got Valentine's Day that represents love. If you know anything about me, you know I love love. So, of course, I love Valentine's Day. Um, so, let's talk about love. Sometimes, love is overlooked. Because it's quiet. It could be very loud. It can open something up or it can shut it down. But in its flow, it's quiet. And sometimes we are so traumatized. By the hurt and the hate and the anger from other things that we neglect to see and experience the quietness of love. I like that. That's true. I like that. You see, a lot of times, especially on this earthly plane, what grabs our attention usually has our focus. What amps us up, what geeks us up, is usually what has our focus. An example of that is look at the concerts that's throw. You know what I'm saying? We like this real loud. It's the loud stuff. And sometimes a lot of people think that the loudest thing is the most important. And that can be true in a lot of situations, especially when uh, you once did not have a voice or did not have a voice that would be acknowledged and had to raise your voice so that people can hear you. But just like there are those who carry crosses upwards, there are those who carry crosses upside down. So instead of using their voice for truth, instead of using their voices for love, instead of using their voices for healing, they use their voices to traumatize. They use their voices to destroy. They use their voices to mislead. So we have to have a discernment with these voices. Even in the quietness. Because again, love has a quiet, smooth 
flow. And it's easy to overlook when you used to consistent roller coaster rides. So just like again, there are those who carry the cross upwards, and there are those who carry the cross upside down. Sometimes there will be a whisper. That's why it is important to know, know, Mama, Daddy, God. A lot of people acknowledge that there is, is some type of greater force. A lot of people believe that there is are greater forces and there is an ultimate force. But to know, to know God, to know Mama Deity God, that's what's going to save our lives save our souls because goodness gracious it's like you hear the term hell on earth and you can look around and literally see it but you can see a combination though of heaven and hell And it's like, I can't get down on that hell side. Like, it's, it's just not for me. It's just not for me. And I, it's just not for me. <laughs> it's one thing to engage in a little... La la, you dig, you know, in a phase of your life or you get wrapped up in something and I, I don't know, whatever, whatever the circumstances are. Um, but at some point, people want to get out. So it's like, imagine being stuck there like forever, ever, like real life blood in blood out and it's like that's not for me <laughs> I'm not from there I'm not from there like my brain doesn't like no no thank you it's not for me <laughs> and I know Biggie said he don't want to go to heaven with the goody goodies. But I think a lot of people have a big misconception of a goody goody. Like, a goody goody don't mean that you don't use foul language or uh, that you're not a, 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 a you dig. You know, I'm talking about in the bedroom. <laughs> or um, that you're just a complete pushover and can't push your foot down. You know, a lot of people have a big misconception, and that's because of the surface based viewing that we as, as a society, you know, we got to categorize everybody into certain things. And it's like, if you're here, then you're not there. You know, you're either over here or you're over there. And it's like, people have a combination of characteristics which make up 
the personality of the person. <laughs> People are not, like, one- or two-dimensional. That's how a lot of people become victimized a lot of times because the perpetrator is not, like, just completely evil or they're able to psychopathically or sociopathically um, you know, act and become the image of what they know will, you know what I'm saying, draw you in. So, everything is not, you know, just, it's not just, it's, it's a rainbow. It's a rainbow. Okay, it's a rainbow in between that refusions of light on one end and the most sunken place and deepest of darkness on the other. It's a rainbow in between. And people have the power to radiate and elevate, you know, ascend, descend, back and forth through that little rainbow. And you have the choice. And I'm saying you have the choice as in, and, and by no means do I ever take away a person's pain, reason for anger, reasons for bitterness, reasons for, you know what I'm saying? Being a little darker, being a little lower in vibration, because I, Lord knows I understand everything not as easy to shake off, and, and you know, they like, you have a choice to be happy, you have a choice, you have a choice to just let it go, and it's like, if I could just let it go, <laughs> I promise, like, I wouldn't just let it go, like, I would burn it, and, like, you know what I'm talking about? But that's why we have terms like healing. That's how you start to oh, let it go. And it doesn't necessarily have to be that you're still holding on to the person uh, who did it to you. It's just, it could be just the, the, the hurt of it or the anger or the, you know, it's a combination of WTF around this MF. -er. Especially when you as a person know where you was at with it? Where you st where you at with it? Because of who you are as a person. So you got the love on your little self. And give yourself that love. I have said it several times before. It is our responsibility to heal ourselves, even though it is somebody else who brought the pain to us. And it's not a thing of acknowledging that You have, because it's like you let it in. You didn't, you didn't know that that's what you was letting in. Because if you knew that that's what you was letting in, Lord knows you would not have let it in. You're smarter than that. 
but it came in in such a way to where it was allowed in. And then through your own hurt, and you knowing pain, not believing in it, <laughs> not believing in pain, you, you know it, okay, inside and out at the same damn time, that created something in you to want to take away other people's pain and help them through their pain. Especially when you know that you had to go through and face a lot of that pain by yourself. And you wonder, what the hell was all these people around for? <laughs> you just going to have to face all this by yourself. <laughs> or majority or whatever. You know, so sometimes that creates a desire and a sympathy to where it becomes an empathy within you to just want to take other people's uh, pain away so that they can smile. Because you also know about the beauty and the uh, just the light and the energy of a smile. The one that's not just on your face, but it, it comes through the eyes. And you want that for that person. Because you know how it is to lose that and have to get it back for yourself. So, I know that we have Valentines and people are preparing or you got some people who, who are already ready to show that person in their life, you know, I love you. Like this is for real. It ain't even just for real, it's for real, for real. in front of your face and behind your back. And that is awesome sauce. But let's take some time. We was taking the mask off in 2020. We had to put them mofos back on in 2020. <laughs> We had to put it back on. This. We had to put them on this twenty, but nevertheless, I always said, take it off your soul, though. Take that mask off your soul. Put it on your face. Take it off your soul. We we, we really should be wearing like some type of gloves, though, shouldn't we? Since like people are touching things, and you know, it's not. Uh, uh, airborne vice, shouldn't we be like, shouldn't our hands really be covered? Since we have to sanitize so much. But anyway, that's a different show. Um, so during this time, while we're thinking about showing those around us in our special Valentines uh, how much we love them, Let's take the time to show ourselves how much we love ourselves as well. Because that's how we're able to sincerely and genuinely love others, right? Because we, we first love ourselves. And a lot of people don't understand that I am able to love you how I love you because I love me. And when you forgive others and, you know, you're just not the type to jump ship when it get hot, hot or whatever, 
um, part of your love is carrying their burden with them. Part of your love for them is, you know what I'm saying, being in them trenches with them. So, you know what I'm saying, you, you getting bruised up too, even though this part of the fight ain't even yours. But it's, it's, it's out of love, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm going I'm to be here and I'm going to do my thing, but you dig, I love you and I want you, you know what I'm talking about? So, we must sometimes retreat and take some personal time to go within. No, and no, no, not sometimes, all the time. Let's change that. Because 2022 is the year of the self. And it's not self as in, it's all about me. And I'm going to look down on the peasants. Like, check your character. You could be a pretty girl, but you're not. Oh, I'm bored with you. I'm talking about the year of the self where you go inside and you heal that ugly that that Jesus where you where you where you flush your, flush 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 yourself so that the garbage juice won't flow through you and then you got these men thinking that it's good for business <laughs> but you're snatching their souls. You 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 don't you don't you don't kill them and then give them the 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 ever ever everlasting water of life the the portal to a, a rebirth <laughs> you was killing them straight dragging them straight to hell O M G. Go inside and heal that boo. Straight the fuck up. Make that inside match what you working so hard to put together on the outside. And when I'm talking to you, it's like that one represents so many. It's the same thing for the men. Like, come on. Come on. Poisonous snakes. This is not the beginning of time. Do not let your third leg represent Satan. Do some parasite cleanses. Get your, ugh, come on, come on, I got a gift, I can see the light and I can see your dot, I just be focusing on your light, goddamn, and trying to help you with your dot, oh, it's a some of it's murky in there, that's, ugh, come on. And see, when you know that you do love yourself, goddammit. And what, 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 what your grandmama say when you lay down with dog, you get what, goddamn fleas? Now you gotta love yourself enough to, goddammit, put on a collar, get the, get the, get the, get the, get the, get the shit. Get them fleas up off you. Let's let's do that in 2022. Let's let's kick it off. It's it's February. It's the second month. You still got so much time. Let's build up some consistency with it. Ask yourself why are you mad? You so busy trying to destroy somebody else's and knock somebody else's cup. That you don't even see what's in your own cup. 
and then the heat on super high over there and it's evap evaporating. You don't even see that your own cup is evaporating because you so busy consciously, physically trying to knock somebody else's cup. But what you got to understand about a full cup is even when it's knocked, it still flow. Know it. Let me help you out there, sunken place. Bitch, I love you enough to go into the darkness with you and pull your ass out, but I'm not staying, motherfucker. And understand that you got the power to get damn it if the hand is reaching out to you, motherfucker, to pull you out. You don't extend your hand to pull a motherfucker back in, to pull a motherfucker in with you. If you want to stay, bitch, say that. Enjoy your self love. Have, take the time, goddammit, to love yourself enough to love and to lead if necessary. Fire and desire, you understand me? Fire and desire. That's one of, that's me and my daddy's favorite song. Like, I used to like it a lot, like, when I heard it. And I really, like, liked it. Like, I, it talked to me. And then when me and my daddy, like, started to get to know each other more, I felt that, like, first of all, he had a crazy crush on Tina, Tina Marie, crazy. <laughs> but that's what was, like, one of his favorite songs. So it's like, that's one of me and my daddy's favorite songs. But Fire and Desire, baby. And I'm not talking about the, the the way that they was loving them and leaving them. I'm talking about to love, to to be who you say you are, as you say you are. And when you realize that sometimes you just there to plant some seeds or maybe water some seeds that's there. Because ultimately, we all have to make that choice to save ourselves. Love yourself enough to save yourself and let go of what no longer serves you. I'm not talking about what no longer serves your pocket, what no longer serves your, you know what I'm talking about? Ego and all that. Get, get. You hear me? Love yourself enough to save yourself. And we have the choice. And we're going to continue to choose to love you all here at the Shy Love Radio Show, Pop Radio Worldwide, iHeart Radio, and Spotify Premium. And YouTube. Y'all know that the Shy Love Radio Show is sponsored by Shy Love LLC. Who is that? None other than me. Love y'all. Hugs. <laughs>